Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use count ifs and some ifs, uh, multiple criteria. So for this I prepared this uh, table of tasks, James tasks, and you have here in English you need to learn by heart, in math you need to do pages 25 to 37, this is the due date, this is the number of hours that you need to spend on each one of the tasks some comments just to make it real and the status uh, which I allow to choose from these uh, options not started in the middle stuck or done by the way I wonder how I did it so go to data and data validation here and I add there are a few options here list of items this is what I chose and I just chose a comma separate list of options, not started, in the middle, stuck, or done. This is how you can choose from it. And you can change it, of course. <clears throat> and first of all, I want to know how many tasks I have. So I write here number of tasks, and here I have <clears throat> count A. And notice this trick that I use here I start from row 7 in column E which is this one and it ends without a row number here that means it will start from E7 from cell E7 row 7 in column E and it will go all the way until the last row that you use regardless of the number of rows that you use so you don't need to change it uh, whenever you add a row so for example if I used it like this and if I added let's say I add here and also prepare for for the exam I'm just making it real here so, as you can see here, you have uh, six tasks. You can see it here as well. But this one shows only five because I told them to stop at row 11, which is here. But I added another one and I can add as many more as I want. If you want to avoid this inconvenience thing, um, you just remove the row number here and it will start from row seven and it will end in the last row that you use. It doesn't matter how many rows you use. Now it has six. And now let's say I want to know how many tasks I have which are not finished yet, which I haven't completed. Them. So that I need to use multiple criteria uh, more than one so I'm going to use count ifs what I did here is that I actually this should be let's change it to E it will be nicer okay so I'm using the count ifs and what you need to do here is to specify the ranges that you want to use and for each range it's criterion so for example in this range from E7 till the end of the rows in column E if it's not black this is how I use it this is how I specify to the Google Sheet that I want to use or count only the ones which are not blanks which are not empty so use a question mark and an asterisk inside a quotation, double quotation mark. This will count only the ones which are not empty in column E. And in addition, I want to count in count in uh, column A, sorry, in column I, only the ones which are not equal to done. So all the non-empty cells in column E and 
only from those only the ones which are not done it will give me the number of tasks which are not done yet and as you can see here I have a total of six tasks and four are unfinished if I change any of these to done it will change to three in this case and another one okay so now I want to know how much time I have left to prepare for these tasks or to, to perform them for this I use the sum ifs function and the first thing that you need to do is to tell it which range is the sum range the range that you want to sum in this case it's column G and again from row 7 until the last row that's why I don't specify the row number after the G so it will count until the end of rows here the first criteria here is that uh, the value is greater than zero I didn't have to add this uh, they're all more than zero but that's just, I just wanted to be on the safe side and then I combine it only with the ones which are not done so you can see I have 17 hours left to prepare if I stand on all these you can see that the total number of hours is 28.5 but this value here at the bottom right hand side it shows all the time that I have including the ones which are already finished I've already done them I just want to know how much time I have left to work on these tasks and this is only 17 because I reduce the number of the ones which are done so if I change this to done I'll have only 16 and only two tasks and same goes here I can play with it as much as I want of course you can change it by the way what's cool about this also is that if you uh, let's say you now have a test in English so I copy this I, you can type it yourself of course uh, let's do it here and I need 12 hours I'm going to do it solo and now I can copy it from here and I can either paste it as is but it's not done and I'll have to change it or I can paste only validation and now I can do this by the way you can do this copy and then mark your range that you want to do it and then right click paste only validation and now you have this option of choosing for all these without changing their value they're still empty um, and that's it you can add as many as you want and just play with it I hope you liked the video if you did please click on like and subscribe to our channel to get more videos by the way the um, link to this Google sheet is in the description of this video